Hello there world, um, this is kind of like a mini vlog thing. Uh, basically, remember where in my last vlog I complained about the fact that I couldn't get this game to run on my current PC, which as you can probably hear in the background is in fact on and I shall now film it for filming. There's my current generation PC, um, and it can play all sorts of games and shiny things. And then up here I have Sonic playing along. Yes, and the reason I'm vlogging is because I'm going to transfer my shiny new PC, which is this device here, with my shiny old PC. This is a Windows 98 machine my dad already had built. It's not specifically built for me to play Sonic on it, but that's what I'm going to use it for. Use it made out of spare bits, because my dad does that. Ooh, dear. If you're wondering what that noise was all about, it was me flipping the camera around. Anyway. I think now it's time for a montage. Wow. Old phone. Games are in the way. Computer is now off. Dusty and heavy. Since I have no idea how to plug in my monitor, I think I need to get an adapter or something because I've got that's new school, that's old school, and that's a new school monitor. So I'm gonna call in my dad. Right, well, 20 minutes of fail later, I have the new, old, shut up, the cable. As you can tell, this is a different to this, which is why I was confused when I was trying to build the PC. Um, and also, I plugged in the mouse and keyboard when you guys were turned off. Anyway, I shall now continue with breaking things, apparently. With that all done, and that giant pile of fail out of the way, let's turn it on, see if it works. So, time for the turning on for the first time of my old, new school, old school shut up PC. <laughs> Begin. Blue lights. And the monitor says... No signal input. These are just lies. I just plugged you in. Huh. Hey! <laughs> Windows 98. That's right, kid. Before the millennium, <laughs> and uh, much longer load-up time than I remember it being. But this was donkeys years ago. Yes. I, by the way, I have done gone to all this effort just so I can say I played every single Sonic Sonic 16-bit uh, game. Is that sad? Probably. Yep, a lot longer load time than I remember. Sorry, I was just threading a cable. <laughs> yeah. Sonic City is like the direct sequel to this, by the way. And yet, Sega somehow made Sonic 4. Not sure how that happened, but whatever. Yeah, continuity, continuity. <laughs> oh, 
Something's happening. Signal over range. That's probably a bad thing. Hmm. Consulting fathership. This is my dad, everyone. He's swearing at us. Twice. So you're saying it might be completely pointless what I'm doing? Okay, literally just after I turn you guys off, I managed to get it started up in safe mode and I'm going to follow my dad's instructions of uninstalling and reinstalling the graphics card and changing the refresh rate. So, it works on the monitor. Totally worth it. After an hour of fucking around, we have now started installing Sonic CD! I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the camera, shut up! Uh, and now it is doing things. It's complete! Huzzah! Play. <sighs> I may have spoke too soon. Hello there, Internet. Right, well, as you can tell, there's probably a bit of a gap. Uh, this is uh, about a week later, and I put my old computer back in now. Uh, and now on to, well, uh, we got it working. Basically what happened was the driver for the graphics card was being a bitch. <laughs> and it kept doing an unknown refresh rate rather than the standard refresh rate for the thing, which was sending my uh, monitor to go haywire, as you saw in the video. <clears throat> but yes, um, what I was going to record is my first uh, look at uh, Sonic CD. Um, but now the computer's away, I can't really do that. So I thought I'd just do a vague review type thing of it. Uh, first of all, I can understand why the younger me loved it. Uh, the FMV at the beginning was amazing. <laughs> Basically it's a cartoon of uh, Sonic running around um, and blowing shit up. Uh, with a really funky kind of music in the background. But yeah, onto the game itself. I found it completely unchallenging. I mean, even when... Com uh, yeah, it's uh, just unchallenging in... What I would consider it, I, the the games I play the most are the Sonic games, and seriously, compared to even Sonic Three, which was probably the easiest of the Mega Drive collection, it's ridiculously easy. It's only got seven uh, zones, each of them with three levels, and on I the, the bosses are not even challenging. They're the easiest boss I've ever done in my life. Like uh, the final boss took four hits to kill. I don't even know what to compare that to because every single game before that, the final boss took the better side of like 16 hits. I mean, there's, yeah, Sonic 3's bo final boss was. Uh, uh, you, I, don't, I don't even know how many hits I have to get it. You have to give it in the end, a big walking robot on the side. Um, if you've played the game, you know what I mean. Uh, Sonic 2's one, that took more hits and was a lot harder to beat. Yeah, um, the only tr I had no trouble with the levels at all, apart from the last level because it was a bitch. Basically, half the level there was no floor. Now I don't mind a few death bits every now and then. I even complained about Sonic 2 not having any to some friends of mine, but literally it was half the level there, the level there, and then a giant gap of doom. So uh, that was a bit of a bit. They literally, they only I had no trouble with any of the levels, not even the underwater one. The underwater one, the Bubbles were spaced so close together, you're like, uh, there's barely any time to get killed. And the, oh yeah, the boss of the underwater level. When I was younger, I had a massive problem with it. I don't know why, it takes one hit to kill the fucking thing. One hit. And younger me wasn't able to beat them. Seriously, younger me. Fuck is wrong with you. Uh, so yeah, this is basic. I, I was really disappointed in it. The graphics were worse than Sonic 2. And it played a lot like Sonic 2, where it could sit... Like in Sonic 3, you get introduced to like the, the three different bubbles. You had the... Uh, bubble bubble, the electric bubble, and the fire bubble. And now in Sonic CD, which is the sequel, you only have one bubble again. Yeah, I was uh, not mightily pleased with it at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I have to keep this short because I'm about to start editing all the footage together. So, yeah. Uh, not best pleased with Sonic CD, but now I have completed all the Sonic 16-bit iterations. Anyway. Uh, I'm Gavite, see the entire world later.